Good morning. It is uh, Tuesday, January 10th, 2017. And I wanted to do a short video on our new Ford C-Max Energy, which we got on November 30th. So, <clears throat> in the last uh, month and a half, we've had the occasion to put about a little over 3,000 miles on the vehicle. Um, because I went on a trip. And then I've had occasion also to get enough local miles under my belt to be able to say something about the performance of the vehicle. So right now I'm in the garage and the vehicle's plugged in. You can see the charger over there on the right side of your field of view. Um, and we just gassed up I don't know, about four or five days ago, but uh, I wanted to give you a report on uh, the local driving MPGs and explain how the vehicle does do on the highway and so forth. Now, as you may know, the Ford C-Max Energy is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. It has 141 horsepower ice and it has a 47 horsepower electric motor and it has a 7.6 kilowatt hour battery pack in the back of which 6.5 kilowatt hours is available for electric only driving so it has about a 20 mile range approximately in electric only driving depending on how much air conditioning headlights uh, heater you use and so forth, the weather. Uh, it could be significantly shorter than that uh, under bad conditions. Uh, right now, we're in January, but we're having spring-like weather here in southern New Mexico, so I've been getting really good MPG figures on the vehicle. But my trip one readout right now is reading like this. I'm going to hold this here for a few seconds let you try to absorb it. And as you can see, the very top figure it says that I went 129.4 miles. It says that I'm averaging 86.7 mpg and it says I've went 78.2 EV miles and I've consumed 18.1 kilowatt hours. Now this figure here, the 86.7, I would have to um, actually refill the vehicle with fuel to get a, an accurate figure. Because this is just an estimate based on metering fuel as I drive. But <clears throat> what this says, if I use this figure, is that I've consumed 1.492 gallons of gasoline in 129.4 miles. Now, we have to treat the electrical consumption as in the equivalent of gasoline also. And so the vehicles used 18.1 kilowatt hours. And down here, as you can see, I, I take the 18.1 kilowatt hours and divide it by 32.777, which is the amount of kilowatt hour of energy equivalents in a gallon of gasoline. And when I do that, I get 0.552 gallons E. Uh, when I add the two together, the actual equivalent energy consumption of the vehicle is 2.044 gallons of gasoline. And if I divide that figure, the 2.044 gallons of gasoline equivalent into 129.4 gallons, I get 63.31 miles per gallon E. And just for grins, we'll divide the 78.2 EV miles by 0.552, and it says the vehicle is getting 141.7 miles per gallon equivalent uh, in electric mode only. So, what you can say about some of this is. Uh, some of these figures 
like for example, the vehicle's only rated at 91 miles per gallon in the city uh, on an electric drive. So some of these miles are what we call regen miles. And I, I don't get a figure for that on this readout, but I do have it on another readout, which I have to take a picture of when I shut the car off. And if I don't get it within about 10 seconds or so, I don't have the information. It disappears. Um, so, as you can see, the, the readout figure is, is uh, very optimistic. 86.7 miles per gallon only accounts for your MPGs with actual gasoline. And it's a little disingenuous, but I understand why Ford would do something like that. And you have to do some mathematics to get the actual figure. And that's 63.31 miles per gallon for this vehicle in local driving, which is pretty good. I'm not, I'm not unhappy with it. The hybrid version of this vehicle only gets 47 miles per gallon. And that's city highway, doesn't matter what you do. That's what it's rated. So I'm doing... Um, as you can see, um, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 miles per gallon better because I have an electric drive only capability. And even though it's only 20 miles of range, it's in local driving, which is 50 miles roughly, round trip to town and back for us, it uh, makes a significant difference. And uh, so we're real happy with the vehicle. We love driving an electric drive. Uh, we drive everywhere in town in electric drive. And when I go to get gasoline, I drive into the gas station with an electric motor run by batteries. I fuel up the vehicle and I leave under electric power. So that's kind of a hoot. <laughs> it's uh, going to a gas station and buying gasoline for your car and not using any gasoline to do it and leaving the station not using any gasoline. It's kind of a hoot. Um, now, on the highway, I did a long distance trip to Oklahoma, Texas, and back to New Mexico. The, and, and I had a full charge on the battery bank. But if you're going to do several hundred miles in one day, you're only going to get 20 miles of range out of it. Uh, it's not going to be that significant in improving your performance. Uh, but over the whole trip, I averaged 39 miles per gallon in this vehicle. And we're talking lots of uh, interstate driving at 70 and 75 miles per hour. So uh, <clears throat> it's a good all-around vehicle. It's a good all-around compromise. If you want to have an electric drive vehicle that is uh, uh, capable of long-distance highway traveling, uh, then a plug-in electric hybrid is probably a really good choice for you, I think. Excuse the camera jitters. I got a couple dogs here that are bidding for my attention. But uh, so anyway, that's a report I wanted to wanted to give you. And uh, also, uh, the nice thing about it is that we have 5.1 kilowatt hours, or excuse me, 5.1 kilowatts of uh, of photovoltaic uh, grid tie panels for our house, and we get about $600 a year from the utility company in, uh, in payment for sales uh, of, of electricity that we generate to them. So uh, all this electric driving really is just coming out of a stipend that I would get from the electric company. For example, last month I got $50 from them, so uh, if I use up a significant portion of that. I might only get a $30 check instead of a $50 check. But uh, that really reduces my cost for driving a great deal. And I didn't feel like my photovoltaic system was large enough to really justify uh, a pure electric vehicle because it would take a lot more electricity to charge it than I probably have and I might go negative on my uh, stipend from El Paso Electric. Also, a pure electric vehicle, even with let's say a Chevy Bolt with 238 miles of range, would not be capable of long distance traveling across country. Uh, probably only a Tesla would, and you'd have to find Tesla station, charging stations. And out here in New Mexico and in the vast 
<clears throat> interior hinterland of the United States uh, charging uh, electric vehicles a lot more problematic than it is in California, for example, or in uh, around big metroplexes like Dallas, Fort Worth, back east, and so forth. So, anyway, that's my report. It's a pure mathematical treatment, and it's, uh, but uh, we think it's a great second vehicle. We, we have a Ford F-150 pickup truck, which we use for towing a fifth wheel, and this has taken a lot of pressure off that truck. The truck didn't make any sense as a daily driver. It only averages 18 miles per gallon. And now, as you can see, I'm doing a lot better on uh, daily driver gasoline mileage. And the truck has 36,000 miles on it, and I'm only putting 200 miles a month on it now. So it'll, it'll last a lot longer having a second vehicle for my daily driving. So that's my report. Uh, we got a really good deal on the the C-Max Energy, it happened to be on the lot with a 30% off sticker and a $1,000 uh, cash offer. So we ended up only paying a little over $25,000 for this $37,000 vehicle. So basically we jumped on it. Uh, you can't blame us. And uh, so um, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about the the Ford C-Max Energy, but very few of them are recent. And, uh, so here you have a video that's shot in the year 2017 rather than three or four years ago. And uh, I also have a blog on EV World about uh, the mathematics of driving uh, uh, Ford C-Max Energy. Uh, it's titled Driving on Sunshine. So look into it. So we'll see you all down the road, and I may have a, another report later on that has to do with other issues. All righty. Good luck in the new year, new year everybody. Bye-bye.